first of all this is what what, what news you would tell this yeah let's let's share this news this is interesting right i'm not sure what the point of this sort of stuff is but again you know i'm sure brands spend a lot of money putting this stuff together but i don't know as a consumer especially maybe because i've been spoiled because i've been behind the other side of the lens i've been the model in these things i've also been the kind of quote-unquote consultant when people kind of get you in for to do a focus group and ask about your gear right yeah that's anyway let me show you so um the north face has this um Thing, this editorial where they're celebrating 80 ski wear with extreme collection with this extreme collection and some for some reason they want to launch this 80 street wear this 80 ski wear thing and they've got all these models posing in the heart of new york city somewhere well and again i know i know i know i know those of you screaming north face is intrinsically tied to new york the same way you'd say canada goose is tied to canada but there's something quite odd about doing a ski wear launch in the middle of new york no specifically chinatown it might look like i'm not too sure it looks a bit ridiculous personally um i do remember when i was going um when i went to new york is a long time ago but i remember when i went to new york uh seeing a couple of the kind of low life guys some of the guys that wear head to toe um vintage polo ralph lauren and whatever and it did look quite preposterous i remember just looking at thinking oh it doesn't look as cool as it does on the internet on the internet when they're all posing and doing their gang signs and shit it looks quite interesting but when you see grown adults walking down the street that way it's just a bit like hmm it's a bit funny playing that kind of dress up and thinking you're hard because you wear old, you know, polo. It's a bit strange. So this is kind of a bit weird for me, personally, just as a visual. But the clothes themselves look pretty cool. You've got this ski wear collection, includes, I guess, duffel bags. and sh Are the sneakers part of the North Face thing as well? I wonder. If, oh, are they just generic Nike SUGs? I'm not too sure. But so far, looking at it, there's like these, um, these warm-up, I don't know warm-up pants, these kind of track pants or these whatever pants you might call them i think um supreme did the same pant did it or was that a jumpsuit it might be a pant or jump not too sure but it looks pretty cool i like the size of the duffel bag that's a nice healthy size for a gym or anything else like a good weekend pack let's get here to the next slide and see what else they've got packed in here mm. oops come on let's work yeah so the the pants look pretty cool i quite like the pants i like the shape of them i like the um how they drop on the trainers uh this sort of poncho thing is looks nice as well the guys wearing the tracksuit all together but again it's quite ridiculous having them carrying wearing this stuff in the middle of new york it, it might have, if they were going to do this they might have gone full nut full um kitsch vibes and just had him carrying a pair of skis as well or wearing a pair of goggles that would have just sealed the deal for me personally but yeah i'm not too sure it's a weird thing in it it's weird i quite like this outfit though. i think it's really nice you got this weird kind of it's a tracksuit i'm assuming i'm pretty sure it's not a jumpsuit i'll read the text in a minute but i'm pretty sure it's a tracksuit looks pretty cool but again that looks really weird isn't it walking in the middle of the city walking in the middle of like a metropolitan city wearing this sort of stuff no don't you think it's a bit strange maybe it's just me but the model looks cool i like the hat is a hat north face as well i'm pretty sure it is right it's sort of like um a little five panel or whatever sports cap what, what what's that model whatever we call it anyway let's read the text the north face has followed on from its british uh millinery collaboration by introducing the extreme collection which first uh, debuted back in 1988 awesome the capsule was heavily influenced by big mountain skiers from the 80s with the functional controversial style reworked into 2020 re re ready styles what was it controversial back in the day because of the colors and stuff maybe i don't know the sign up piece is the extreme windsuit which comes in ex collection of red blue sorry red black blue and color palette uh elsewhere the north face is introducing a section of accessories including a tough as hell backpack burly crossbody bag and two options of the breathable quick drying cap um so that that cap will be quite cool i'm sure if you're a runner and you like wearing hats i can't necessarily wear them so, you know case in point my, my head's super huge and i've got a big a big clump of hair at the top of it as well but yeah i'm not mad at it i think it looks pretty cool it's a nice collection but again why would you wear that in the city? Why is it being? Why are they taking the pictures of it in the city landscape? I don't know. But again, maybe it's that kind of um, urban. What do you call it? Urban outdoorsman, whatever that kind of thing is. I remember I've done a couple of focus groups and stuff like this before, and it was a bit naff, to be fair. Um, you sit around just talking, you know, glowingly about yourself and about why it's important to wear stuff that's waterproof or Gore-Tex or, you know breathable or warm or whatever it may be in the midst of you know a winter spent in london somewhere it's a bit self-explanatory but you kind of have to explain it away make it sound interesting and then they have to feign like it's the first time they've heard it 
it's just a really big it's a big cringe it's a big cringe fest really those focus groups but i'd imagine now if you're a brand director or a marketing person you're most probably or most likely gonna do these things via instagram now right you'll be able to find some amazing collectors via hashtags you won't need to go around asking old fuddy daddies like myself about what they think about the new collection about what works and what doesn't work because i have no idea i'm not tapped in in (laughs) as much as these younger kids are who are actually collecting stuff and being a part of that culture and stuff but yeah it's a bit weird man i'm not too sure if i'm keen on it but again i'm not mad at it if i was seeded it or given it i would wear it i wouldn't necessarily go out and buy it myself but um when's that going to be available let's have a look here uh uh it's going to be available january 15th so it should be available in your local north face store now january 15th it's the extreme collection from north face so check it out check it on in